Understanding Percentage Yield, a simple guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to delve into an interesting and important concept in chemistry called percentage yield. This is a term that often appears in scientific studies and discussions. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it means and how it's used in a simple and clear way. Let's get started. Percentage yield is a term used in chemistry to describe how efficient a chemical reaction is. It's a way to measure what percentage of a product is actually obtained from a reaction, compared to what was expected theoretically. This is important because in many chemical reactions, the amount of product you expect to get, theoretical yield, is often different from the amount you actually get, actual yield. To calculate percentage yield, you use a simple formula. Percentage yield equals actual yield, theoretical yield, times 100%. It's a straightforward calculation. You divide the actual yield by the theoretical yield and then multiply by 100 to get a percentage. This tells you how much of the expected product was actually produced. Understanding percentage yield is crucial because it helps chemists understand how efficient a reaction is. A high percentage yield means the reaction is very efficient, producing most of the expected product. A low percentage yield means there was a lot of waste or side reactions. This information is vital in industries where maximizing product and minimizing waste is important. Several factors can affect the percentage yield of a reaction. These include 1. Purity of reactants. Impure reactants can lead to lower yields. 2. Reaction conditions. Temperature, pressure, and catalysts can impact yield. 3. Measurement errors. Inaccurate measurements can lead to incorrect yield calculations. I hope this video has helped clarify the concept of percentage yield for you. It's a fundamental idea in chemistry that tells us a lot about how reactions occur and how efficient they are. Remember, it's all about comparing what you actually get to what you theoretically expected. Thanks for watching and stay curious about the wonderful world of chemistry.